is Mark Halpern, host of the Mark Halpern Focus Group here on Newsmax TV. Mark, great to have you. Happy September, John. Is it September already, Mark? I barely noticed. I uh, kid, of course. Uh, you know, here on TV, we pass the uh, the months very, very uh, intensely focused on those new months. Anyway, it is what, September the 8th. Here we are. So anyway, a bigger impact on 2022, the Texas election integrity law or the Texas heartbeat abortion ban. What is your focus group telling you? Well, I think folks in this country are extremely divided on both issues. Uh, abortion, of course, has been a polarizing issue now for decades. This voting rights issue newer. But I think you're going to see Democrats assume that they can make hay out of this. I think the media skews in one direction on both those issues. As you know, the Texas law fits Texas in with a lot of blue states that have more restrictive laws. And I think this is going to be fought out not just in the midterms, but in 2024 as well. These are two issues very energizing to Democrats and in most cases to Republicans as well. Yeah, I think, um, you know, depends on where you are. They obviously energize the bases in different ways, and it's going to really come down to who is more energized in 2022, the off-year election, the midterms, uh, and a lot on the line. Now, I want to talk about another potential election year issue for 2022, obviously a crisis right now, a humanitarian crisis, as we anxiously await uh, for these Americans and our allies who remain uh, trapped in Afghanistan. But the Biden State Department is now coming under fire for lying about its involvement in the rescue of an American mom and her three children. I mean, there's obviously reporting on that. Uh, and then we have uh, over on MSNBC contributor David Rowe talking about these Americans and SIV holders who are being prevented from taking off in Afghanistan. Here he is. That is being held up by the State Department and the White House. I, I want to repeat that. It is the State Department and the White House. These are our allies, and this is a growing political problem for President Biden. It is not going to go away. He and Secretary Blinken must address it. Now, uh, David Rode does not come on this show very often. He might not be familiar uh, to our Newsmax audience, but, you know, from the New Yorker, not exactly a conservative guy. Uh, Mark, and that's very pointed criticism of the Biden administration and their role here. And he says this isn't going away. I should say David Rowe used to intern for me years ago, so I'm very familiar with him. Um, look, Joe Biden ran and to some extent won because he put himself forward as the following, incompetent, calm, honest, and an expert on foreign policy. And you've seen his polling numbers come down in the wake of Afghanistan, in part because I think I hear from people all the time, including Democrats, unsettled by the fact that those traits are now being widely questioned. This is not good for the country, of course. It's not good for those who are trapped. But politically, for Joe Biden, for the Democratic Party in 2022, very dangerous politically. You know, and uh, David Rode also shared a story about Richard Blumenthal at a tractor race in uh, Connecticut, which I didn't know they had these things in Connecticut. I always, you know, picture, uh, you know, uh, hedge fund managers and things like that. But anyway, he talked about Richard Blumenthal basically being called out by his constituents. And, you know, you see this, and I think you really hit the nail on the head. This is one of those underlying issues that we all believed about America, you know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, you don't leave Americans behind. And Joe Biden is challenging right th that right now. Uh, and the effect it has on the electorate, I think, is unknowable at this point. It is unknowable. I mean, obviously, for any issue, we're too far from the midterms to be certain. But this really does undermine a lot of what Joe Biden put himself forward to be as president. And it certainly uh, goes to a theme that I think is under discussed, which is, is Joe Biden feared is he feared around the world? Is he feared on Capitol Hill? Presidents like to be liked, but often they're most effective when they're feared. Yeah, fear, and there's a thin line between fear and respect a lot of times as well. Mark Halpern, thanks so much. Great to see you. Thank you, John. Good to see you. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.